What's up, YouTubers? Quick observation. I'm in e cafe, as you could probably tell. I just ordered a coffee. This is a quick observation. Their marketing kind of sucks because they have a plastic window in front of their tip jar. So you can't really leave a tip anymore unless you ask and pass it around. That's kind of interesting. But the other thing is, the coffee is at 15Q and they charge you an extra Q for something. The only reason I bring that up, it's only like 10 or 12 cents, but it's funny because if you shop, shop at uh, the bakeries here, um, Chez Le Pan, they charge this extra fee now, like I think it's 1Q or 1.5Q or I don't know, it's like a Q or something. I don't know if that's a special tax they just put in and I don't know if it's related to coronavirus. It's just interesting because I just noticed that before, like if the menu said 15 Q, it would be 15 Q, but now all over when I shop now, there's like whatever the price is plus one or two Q. So maybe they're just adding up the tax separately like they, like they do in the US, which they, they never used to do before. But the one exception is in the mall and they didn't do that. So I don't know if that's a special tax on food or coffee or something related to coronavirus. If you've seen that and you're in Guatemala and you know what that's about, leave a comment. Thank you. Meanwhile, I'm going to enjoy my coffee and check my email, see if I got any hate mail. What's up, YouTubers? It's me, John, again. I'm out here by the Pila, back in my little backyard. I had a pretty good day today. I took my clothes to the laundry. I thought it was like not four o'clock, but I must have got back late because the girls are already closed. Normally, in Latin America, Things don't close on time or open on time. But where I live, apparently, she leaves at four o'clock sharp. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I'll have to pick up my stuff tomorrow. Anyhow, I had a pretty good day here. Not much going on here. I've been doing more research um, on traveling. Just to take the Tika bus is gonna be a pain in the neck. Like you gotta go online and fill out some forms and papers and have the COVID test. That's not really hard or nothing, but it's just a pain in the neck. I was just looking too. If I want to go to Nicaragua, it's like five or 600 bucks. If I want to take the bus, it's like 150 round trip from the capital. And um, some of the trips, like if you go to, if you go, you go to Nicaragua and you want to pay like 300, you got to fly to the United States, fly back to Nicaragua. That's totally, it's like retarded. That's the, that's the world we live in now. And if you fly to the United States, you got to wait there 12 hours and fly back from Guatemala, I mean, to, to get to, um, to, get to uh, Nicaragua. Anyways, just going to the adjacent country is not like it used to be. It's not easy unless you travel like locals and just cross the border, which that's always an option. It's JC likes to say, always an option. There's always an option. Anyhow, um, I was going to make some comments on healthcare. Like, um, I was listening to some of the recent podcasts of Johnny Mueller, uh, like people worrying about getting their health care because they don't speak English. That, that's people like me. I've had great health care, just, just as a heads up. The first time I came, well, not the first time, but one time I, I was in Shayla and I had an incident at the mall where I hit my head on this, on this glass thing and it started spurting out blood. Now at the time I didn't realize it was spurting out blood. Anyways, it's pretty alarming. And I made a video about this before, but I went, there's a lady doctor there who didn't speak any English. And what she did was she used her phone app to translate into, from Spanish into English about helping me go to the hospital. Anyways, what we ended up doing is we ended up going to uh, the IGSS hospital, which is a free one, which incidentally, that's my gringo advantage. I got to go in there. She said she worked there. She talked to the guard and we cut the line, which at the time didn't make me feel good, but I went in there. Anyways, my experience was the years a young guy, he was a doctor, he stitched me all up. I had to wait like 20 minutes. He stitched me all up and we were talking in English about various odds and ends, but it's pretty uneventful. And then I went to the private hospital, not the clinic, I think the private hospital, one of the, the lower cost ones. And it was, I think 150 or maybe 200 to get the stitches out, it didn't really cost that much. So if you want to self-insure, that's that's one option, but that was one of my experiences. And then I had another experience here in Shayla, as a matter of fact, where I I had an issue too. And um, unbeknownst to me, the uh, people here, because my Spanish sucks, hold on a second, gotta check on my vegetables. 
I have steamed vegetables cooking right now. Anyhow, um, I was in one of the local banks here and <laughs> it's funny, they got kind of excited because I had a little issue there. Anyways, they had called the Red Cross and they sent out kind of a Red Cross ambulance kind of thing, like a van ambulance. They checked my uh, pulse and stuff like that. Anyways, they ended up driving me to the, one of the hospitals, not a hospital, but more like a clinic maybe. Anyways, it was all free, it didn't cost me anything, but they checked me out and they took me to the hospital and I got my, I think it was my blood, not my blood pressure, but I think my blood pressure taken and everything was fine. I just went home from there, but um, that was free. That was the Red Cross, the Red Cross kind of, I don't want to call it an ambulance, but something like an ambulance. Anyways, that was, that was actually free. So they do have other paid services you can buy down here that are super affordable that you can do. Alerta is what I'm thinking of right now. Medica Alerta. They have, I think, a, a policy for 300 bucks where if you have an elderly person in your home or, or you know, you need that kind of a service, it's available. Anyhow, I, I just was thinking about my medical experiences here, and I too was kind of scared not being able to speak their language, and that's, that's a scary thing to think of. If, if you're vulnerable, something happens to you, like, uh, like happened to me, <laughs> I was just clumsy. I ran into a, kind of a, like a glass wall, but not a glass wall. Anyways, I, I got my stitches in, it's pretty uneventful, but anyways, at, the, at, the, at that place, they spoke English. And then I went to a kind of a more affluent hospital here in town. I just had a cold. I just wanted to go and see what the experience would be like. And it was pretty neat. It was pretty sterile. It was a brand new hospital, I think. And the doctor spoke, and he's an older guy in this case, and wrote me a prescription for, I don't know what, antibiotics or something. Anyways, it was kind of expensive, like 300 Q, but that was kind of the expensive hospital. Anyways, that's just been my, kind of my experience of getting healthcare. It's actually pretty affordable, and if you want, you can get insurance. It's easier if you have a residency, but they have cheap, affordable insurance policies if you get kind of the 80-20 the ones where they pay 80% and you pay 20 out of pocket, kind of like a, what do they call them? HMOs, yeah, HMOs, sort of like that. Or you can, if you're a younger person, you can just self-insure and kind of do like what I do. But in any case, if, if you go to the more expensive hospitals and clinics, usually someone almost always will speak English in those places. So you don't have to worry. And now with all the different phone apps and stuff, you can communicate that way. But I just try to use my Spanish. That's what I do. So far it's worked out pretty good. <laughs> Anyways, I just was, didn't have nothing to talk about today too much. Uh, except for whining about my laundry. I wish I'd went there earlier. Anyhow, this is Johnny. I'm gonna put this up, see what comments you have. Pretty un uneventful day. The only thing that pisses me off is now, eventually I'll have to go back to say, well, I don't really have to, but I gotta get a COVID test. This thing is starting to get totally ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you.